Hello, my friend, and welcome to Survival Superhero. In this video, we are comparing the FOSS Power Solar Crank Radio versus the Midland ER310 Solar Crank Radio to find out which is the best choice for you. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so we can help you with survival gear regularly. Now let's get straight into this video. For this comparison video, we'll be referring to the FOSS Power Model A3, but we'll also cover the other FOSS Power Solar Crank radio models as well to give you the most comprehensive view possible. Check the description and pinned comment below for a link to learn more about these items or to purchase them. This helps support this channel and I really appreciate it. Price! FOSS Power wins this one. The FOSS Power A3 is $35.90 on Amazon. The Midland is $59.99 on Amazon. Amazon usually has the best prices. Click the links in the description below to see for yourself. Next up is size. If you're going for portability, the FOSS Power wins this because it's over one and a half inches shorter in length. Otherwise, they are roughly the same in width and height. The FOSS Power is 6.2.3 inches long by 2.48 inches wide by 3.19 inches high. And the Midland is 8 inches by 2.4 inches by 3.4 inches. Next up is weight. The FOSS Power wins this by a small amount. The FOSS Power weighs 0.84 pounds or 380 grams. The Midland weighs 1 pound or 453 grams. NOAA Emergency Access This one is a tie because they both receive the NOAA Emergency Channels for local weather information and emergency hazard alerts. They also both feature an AM-FM radio with antenna. Internal Battery The FOSS Power wins this one by far with its 4000 milliamp internal battery. The Midland has a 2600 milliamp internal battery. Now you can replace the internal battery on both the FOSS Power and the Midland if you need to, which is also very nice. Now let's talk about external device charging. This one is a tie. Both the FOSS Power and the Midland have one USB output, so you can charge one device at a time with them both. However, the FOSS Power has a much larger battery, so on a full charge, you can charge more devices with the FOSS Power than the Midland. USB Charging Time The FOSS Power wins this. It takes 5 to 6 hours to fully charge the FOSS Power's internal battery using USB. It takes 5.5 hours to fully charge the Midland. But remember, again, the FOSS Power's battery is 1.5 times bigger than the Midland's. So you get much more power with the FOSS Power in about the same charging time as the Midland. Next up is Solar Charging Time. The Midland wins this one, mainly because the FOSS Power is vague about their solar charging time. With the Midland, one hour of optimal sunlight gives you 45 minutes of radio use. So it would take about 43 hours to fully charge the Midland using just solar power. Almost two days. FOSS Power loses because they don't exactly give a certain time for how long it takes to charge with solar. FOSS Power says it would take days to fully charge their solar radio. FOSS Power also says the function of their solar panel is only to slow down how fast the internal battery drains and it's not intended that you rely solely on the solar panel to recharge it. What about hand crank charging time? This one is pretty much a tie. Technically, the Midland charges a little bit faster with the hand crank but again, its battery is much smaller than the FOSS power. With the Midland, one minute of cranking gives you nine minutes of radio use, and 10 minutes of cranking gives you an hour and a half of radio use. 
to charge the internal battery fully, you would have to crank for three and a half hours. With the FOSS power, one minute of cranking gives six minutes of radio listening, and 10 minutes of cranking gives you one hour of radio listening. To charge the internal battery fully, you would have to crank for 5.5 hours. But if I had to pick a winner, it would be the Midland. Next up, radio listening time. FOSS Power wins this one because it provides one more hour of radio listening than the Midland. FOSS Power gives you over 33 hours of radio listening time at medium volume on a full internal battery charge. The Midland gives you 32 hours of radio listening time on a full charge. Next up, headphone jack. Midland wins this one. The Midland does have a headphone jack, while the FOSS Power does not have a headphone jack at all. Waterproofing. FOSS Power wins this one hands down. FOSS Power is IPX3 certified water resistant, while the Midland is not water resistant certified at all. Drop proofing. The FOSS Power wins this, but in a vague way. The FOSS Power says that it is drop proof, but does not give a distance that it can be dropped from safely. The Midland does not claim to be drop proof at all. Next up is digital or analog tuner display. This one is a personal preference, but assuming that you prefer a digital tuner over an analog tuner, the Midland wins this one. The Midland has an LCD display and digital tuner for adjusting the radio channels. The FOSS Power A3 has an analog tuner display. Now FOSS Power does make other models that do have digital tuners and displays, namely the D2 and the D4. Check the description below for links if you'd like to check them out. Now let's talk about flashlight power. FOSS Power wins this one by 5 lumens. The FOSS Power has a 135 lumens LED flashlight, while the Midland has a 130 lumens LED flashlight. Next up, flashlight brightness settings. The FOSS Power wins this because it has three different flashlight brightness settings, giving you more control over your power usage. The Midland only has two flashlight brightness settings. Additional lighting. The FOSS Power wins this because it also includes a reading lamp. The reading lamp can be set to always on or set to turn on only when motion is detected to save power. The Midland does not have a separate reading lamp at all. Flashlight time. The FOSS Power wins this one. You can use the FOSS Power LED flashlight for over 16 hours on low and medium or over 10 hours on high. Midland does not guarantee a certain amount of flashlight use per charge. Automatic NOAA Alerts The Midland wins this one because it features an all hazards alert mode that will automatically let you know when it receives an important alert. When it detects an alert, it will set off a siren noise and the flashlight and LCD backlight will flash for one minute. This means you don't have to stay glued to the radio to catch an important alert. The FOSS Power A3 does not have an all hazards alert mode, but the FOSS Power D2 does have an all hazards alert mode. Again, check the description below for a link if you'd like to check that out. Number of power sources. The Midland wins this one. You can power them both with solar, hand crank, and USB charging, but the Midland can also run on six AA batteries, which is nice to have as a backup in case of an emergency. Also note that the upgraded FOSS Power D2 model can run on AAA batteries. SOS function. This is pretty much a tie. They both have an SOS button that you can press to set off a loud siren and a flashing beam from the flashlight. The difference is being that the Midland will flash in Morse code, but the FOSS Power's light is 5 lumens brighter. So the Midland wins if flashing the light in Morse code is extremely important to you, 
And the Fast Power wins if having a slightly brighter flashlight is more important to you. Now let's talk about warranty. Fast Power wins this. The Fast Power offers a limited lifetime warranty, while the Midland offers a one year warranty. Note that you do have to register both the Fast Power and the Midland in order to get the warranty, which you can do on both companies' websites. Money Back Guarantee. Fast Power wins this one. The Fast Power offers a 60 day 100% money back guarantee. Midland does not offer any type of money back guarantee at all. Additional features The Midland has an ultrasonic dog whistle function to help search and rescue teams find you during an emergency situation. And the Fast Power comes with a carabiner. So, what's the bottom line? Who is the Fast Power for and who is the Midland better for? The Fast Power is for you if you need the larger 4000 milliamp battery to charge your devices in an emergency, if you need something water resistant, if you want a 60 day money back guarantee or a lifetime warranty, or you want a reading lamp. Midland is for you if you need a headphone jack, ultrasonic dog whistle, Morse code SOS flashlight mode, digital LCD tuner and display, automatic all hazards alerts so you don't miss an important weather notification, or if you want to have a AAA battery backup. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of survival gear reviews and much more. Check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of survival gear and I will see you in the next video. Take care.